Hello, everyone. Welcome to Technologies Discussion Channel. Today, I'd like to continue the discussion on Arduino and Python programming. For this video, the objective is to demonstrate how can we actually use PyCharm to simulate a traffic light controller through the Arduino Uno board. This will be the part 6 series discussion on Arduino and Python programming. If you're keen to know more okay, on this area, okay, please take a look on the playlist under the description. They will give you a better idea on Arduino and Python programming. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to support this channel by pressing the like and also the subscribe button. Please also turn on your notification bell in order to receive more information from this channel. Guys, once again, really from my bottom of my heart, thank you so much for your strong support. Before we talk about the programming, let's discuss about the problem statement. Task number two, we has actually four steps. Okay, so after we run the code in PyCharm, okay, these four steps must be in place. Step number one, we're supposed to turn the red LED on for three seconds. Okay, the desire is actually for the traffic to stop. Okay, I guess you know that when you actually see a red LED, okay, you know that it actually indicates for all traffic to stop at the particular so-called direction. And for this task here, we need to turn on the red LED for three seconds. As for step number two, okay, the red LED will continue to turn on for two seconds and the yellow LED will blink for two seconds to inform traffic will change to go soon. Okay, which means that okay, earlier on is a red LED. So now after step number two, the red LED will turn on for two seconds. After that, it will turn off. As for the ampere, okay, for step two, it will also turn on for two seconds, but it actually start to blink. So in short, the red and the ampere LED, they will turn off after two seconds. The red LED will remain on during the initial stage. After two seconds, it will turn off. The amber LED will start to bring after two seconds, okay, it will go off. Steps number three. Okay, basically after step number three, it indicate for the traffic to go. So hence, the green light will turn on. Okay, however, the red and yellow LED, we need to task to turn it off. And like what I mentioned early on, the green LED will turn on. And basically for this task here, we will make it turn on for five seconds so that for traffic can start to go now. As for step number four, the yellow LED blink for two seconds for traffic ready to stop. Okay, I guess you see this kind of traffic light is quite clear. Basically, once they are in green, Okay, all the traffic actually start to progress. The moment that you see the ampere, it indicates that this is about to stop. So therefore, we actually for this task, we will have two seconds for the yellow LED to bring to indicate that the traffic is ready to stop soon. So after this, the cycle actually repeat three times. Okay, so basically this is the problem statement and we actually need to write a source code to implement these four steps. Okay, the traffic light is quite similar as my previous video. Okay, so on my previous video, I have more or less described on the LED. At this video, I will not be able to describe it. Okay, but over here, okay, you can quickly see that the red LED is controlled by pin 13. Okay, and my ampere, okay, is a rune, but actually, we actually use the ampere, which is true pin 12. As for the green LED, which is true pin 11. Okay, guys, please take a look on my previous video, part five series, so that you understand how does the LED actually turn on or why we need to consider this kind of setup. Okay, so if not, you may accidentally blow the LED. And last but not least, I just want to show you a simple page that this diagram has been already connected up and we are ready to write the source code to meet so-called PyCharm. Okay, to control the traffic light through the Arduino Uno board. Let's take a look on the programming part. 
let me come to the explanation of the source code. Okay, so this first two line is in fact is all the timing and all the those that we actually so-called import from ADF framework. Okay, so this part, as I mentioned on the previous video, so if you need these two file or Python file, okay, basically I can send it to you. I will do some modification before I send it to you. Okay, so basically they actually do some setting over these two lines here. So next, okay, so as for the traffic light, okay, the red turn on time will be three seconds. So basically I define this as three seconds. As for yellow on time, basically this time round, okay, I actually make the yellow LED blink. So I don't really have this yellow on time. So basically for this part here, you can omit away. Okay, because like what I mentioned, for the yellow LED, basically I will make it blink rather than on time. As for the green, on time will be five seconds. And hence, therefore, I set this green LED on time as five seconds. As for the loop, okay, basically I want to loop it three times. Okay, so basically, uh, the traffic light will be looping three times as we can verify on this on the when we actually run the device here. So after that, we actually turn on the control board. So the control board, as I show it to you earlier on, my Arduino Uno board is actually on COM7. So therefore, I mentioned COM7 over here. Again, these are all the lines that is quite similar on the previous video. The red LED is basically controlled by pin 13 and I actually set pin 13 as an output. So basically this is what I mentioned quite similar with the previous video. For the yellow LED will be controlled by pin 12 and again I also set pin 12 as an output. Same as pin 11, I set it as an output to control the green LED. So in short, the rate actually depends on 13. If pin 13 is high, the red LED will turn on. If it's low, the red LED will turn off. Same as yellow and green. Basically, they will depend on respectively pin 12 and pin 11 to determine whether the LED will turn on or off. After that, I turn on the controller. I start the controller. Okay, so this set of equation basically is to meet the yellow LED blink. Okay, so uh, I, I feel that we, we can have a better way to write this. Uh, I also don't think we need this line because the LED already turned off. So we don't really need to set the time slip over here. So I don't think we need this line here. And basically over this portion, like what I mentioned, we can definitely write a better code uh, to meet the LED blink. But because this is the material and I do not want to do so much changes on the material. So we will use this to make this yellow LED to blink. So once we've done this, okay, we actually, let me move down a little bit. So we are ready to turn on all the LED. So basically over here, I just print that all the LED light up now. So basically all the LED will be in place. So this is basically the four instruction here. So over here, the repeat time is three. So therefore all these instruction under here will be execute three times. Okay, so basically this is what I mean. So basically all these instruction here will be execute three times. So this will be step one, step two, step three, step four, as I mentioned earlier on. Okay, basically these are all the tasks. For example, step number one, I actually need to turn on my red LED and my red LED will turn on for three seconds. After three seconds, it will go to sleep. So this is actually task number one or step number one of the task. Basically is to turn on the red LED for three seconds. So after three seconds, the red LED will go to sleep. This will be step number two. Okay, so step number two, actually I need to make the yellow LED blink while the red is on. Okay, still remain on. Then the yellow LED will start to blink. Okay, so in the meantime, while before they actually activate this so-called sleep on the red LED, okay, the yellow LED will start to blink. And after that, I need to so-called turn off my red LED. So basically in this step here, the yellow blinking will blink for two seconds. After that, the yellow LED and the red LED will turn off simultaneously. Let's move on to step number three. Okay, for step number three, okay, as I mentioned here, okay, the red and yellow need to be turned off while the green LED need to be turned on. So therefore over here, I will actually write an instruction okay, to turn on the green LED. 
After that, based on the timer, okay, which is five seconds, after that, it will go to turn off. Basically, this is what I need to do for step number three. Last step here, okay, which is to make the yellow LED blink. So basically, this will be the step to make the yellow LED blink. So remember, I told you that this step actually all repeat three times. So which means that they will go through step one, step two, step three, step four, step one, step two, step three, step four, and come back to step one, step two, step three, and step four, then they will come into this LED turn off and then we will be so-called shut down the controller. Okay, so now we are ready to run this program. So let's do this running of this program. Remember over here, please remember to set to current file. So when I actually set to current file, okay, the run is actually based on this current file and I basically start to run. Okay, so let's give it a few seconds okay, to see if there's any error. Okay, so the basically the instruction will come out. Do you want to run block component tester? Okay, because uh, I earlier on I have already test my red, yellow, and green LED. So for this time round, I'm not going to run the block component tester. So over here, okay, I will type no. And basically now you can see that the LED light up now. And let's take a look on the Arduino Uno board in order to understand better. So now you can see that this is step number one. Okay, the red LED turn on very quick. They turn on for three seconds. After that, the ambient light will take on, as you can see from here. After that, okay, the step number two finish. Then you go to step number three. The green LED will light out. So after that, the light will go off. And basically, this will be the last step of this program.